Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 23. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue talking about string functions. And I'm actually going to show you guys how to use the string position function. So what this function does is look for one string inside of another string. So basically you can use this function to look for a word or another word inside of a string, um, which would come in handy. Let's say you ask the user to type in like a message uh, on your website and you want to look for any curse words or swear words that they might have typed in there. Um, you can use the string position function uh, for that. Okay. So let's take a look at how to use this function. And as always, you're just going to type in the function name, which is string position or str pos for short. Um, and then this function actually takes two arguments. Okay. So when you're going to supply two arguments to a function, you're going to put in the first one, leave a comma, and then put in the second argument. So that's how to supply multiple arguments to a function. Now the first argument is basically the string you want to look in. And the second function is the string you want to look for. Um, so in other words, let's say I had the sentence here. Hello, my name is Quinton what is your name? Okay. And this will be the sentence that we're going to look in. Now the word that I want to look for over here is name. Okay. So, uh, right now we haven't actually done anything with this. So let's just echo that out. Um, save this again, click refresh. And as you can see, we have printed the number nine out on the screen. So let's just go back here and count. Um, that's five characters, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and then the N for name is actually on the 10th character. So uh, just keep in mind that whenever you're using the string position function, um, we're always going to print out how many characters there are before the uh, starting character of the word that you were looking for. So we basically it always puts the cursor kind of here, if you can imagine, like just before the first letter of our uh, word that we were looking for. But some of you clever people may have noticed that the word name actually appears here in this sentence twice. So we've got name here at nine and then we've also got name uh, right here at the end. Okay. So how do we land up checking for multiple uh, cases or multiple instances of the word? Well, we have a third argument available to us, which is basically where do you want to start looking from in this string? Okay. So this is going to be an integer value and I'm just going to type in uh, 13 because we know that this variable name appears at uh, nine. So we know we want to skip this word name. So basically when we start from 13, we're starting from here and we're looking again, does name occur anywhere else in this sentence. So let's go back. Um, we'll save that quickly. Click refresh. And as you can see, name does appear again at uh, character number 39, which would be uh, this case here. Okay. So if you guys want to look for multiple cases of the same word and print them all out um, on the same, like, on well, yeah, in the same kind of run or refresh, you're going to have to use a, a, a loop to loop through 
um, the sentence and look for the word that you're trying to look for. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do that now. So I'm actually um, going to make a few variables quickly. So we'll make this sentence a variable. And uh, we can basically just call it the string as in um, the string we want to look for. Okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll make this word name a variable as well. And we'll just call that find because this is basically the variable or the word that we're wanting to find. So we'll put that there. Uh, offset, we'll just take that out for now. Okay. And in fact, let's make a variable up here called offset. And I'm going to set that equal to zero to start off with because we'll start looking from the beginning of the sentence and then we'll only change the offset uh, while we're in the loop. And there's one last variable that I want to make and this is going to be find length. And we're going to set that equal to the length of uh, the word that we're trying to look for. So strlen um, find, okay? And this just means uh, that we'll have the length of this word, which we will use inside of our loop, okay? So now that we've got all our variables in order, let's take a look at how to loop through the sentence and find both instances of name, okay? Now, I should probably mention that um, if strpos cannot find a word that you're looking for, so let's say I was looking for the word pizza. Whoops. Okay. Pizza does not appear anywhere in the sentence. So if we try to throw that into uh, strpos, it would return back a value of false, which is quite handy because it means we can use this as a condition in our loop. So let's go ahead and type in while and we'll make a variable here called string pause. Okay. And we'll set that equal to str pause of um, string find and offset. So basically what we're saying here is while we get a value for this variable string pause, okay? Then we'll go ahead and do whatever's in the loop. And this variable of string pause will always return true if we can find um, the word name in our string, okay? With the offset starting at zero, but this will change uh, as we as we loop through, okay? Um, and then when we can't find the word name inside of our string, so um, when we can't find name inside our string, then we are going to return false, so this loop will stop executing, okay? And that means that we have found the last instance of name. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say echo um, find, uh, and we'll um, append on was found at, and we'll leave a space and append uh, string pause. So what this is basically going to do is say name, uh, because name is equal to find. Okay, so name was found at string pause. So wherever we found the word name we're going to echo that out. Okay. And the last thing we have to do is just say uh, offset is equal to string pause plus find length. Okay. And what this is going to do is take the position where we found name. Okay. So string pause is the position where we found name plus the value uh, of whatever length 
our word was, so string parse plus four in this case, okay? And what that's gonna do is say, okay, next time this loop runs, um, so next time this actually executes, instead of starting at zero, we'll start at um, whatever position we found name, plus however many characters there are in name. So that means that our loop, when it runs the second time, starts over here on the other side of name. So then we're looking for the next occurrence of name, which is over here. Then it will print out that name was found here, and then it's going to skip this, look again to see if it can find name again. Obviously not, and that's when it returns false. Uh, and then the loop stops. So let's go back to Firefox and click refresh. Did I save this? No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> go back here and click refresh. And it says name was found at 9 and name was found at 39. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.